Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Today I'm joined by the lovely Kathy Precaria, who is a certified, happy for no reason, trainer, as well as in joy-filled living, talking all about positivity and happiness. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Linda. I'm Prepare. so excited to be here on this wonderful Valentine's Day. Yes, a beautiful day. Yes. Um, can you tell me about um, your program and about the pillars of the heart? Oh, what a wonderful thing to be talking about today, especially because on Valentine's Day, you know, it's all about the heart and love and all of that. But um, people who live with an open heart are much happier and light and just live from a different spot. If I ask you or any of your listening audience to point to themselves, where do we point? To we point to our heart. Right. It is the seat of the soul. Mm -hmm. And the people who live with an open heart, they have a couple of very good strategies mm -hmm. that they bring into their lives. Gratitude, kindness, um, forgiveness, laughter, love, light heart. It's sure. beautiful. Beautiful when you can get your yourself around all of these things and live from a place of your heart. It's I'm sorry. Absolutely true. <laughs> and you mentioned uh, three components of mm -hmm. the pillars of the heart. Can you share? Absolutely. A bit about them? If you do any kind of research on mm -hmm. raising your your happiness or right. being more joyful and all, right. gratitude is the very first thing sure. that comes out. Because when you can be grateful and appreciate all the things in your life, mm -hmm. it's like the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. You get more. Mm -hmm. As Oprah says, if you can't be happy with what you have, how will you be happy when you have more? So, and, and being grateful and showing gratitude can be as easy as just saying thank you or even just smiling. Right. A smile says so much that right. usually when you smile at someone, sure. they smile back. No, it's, and, and that's all about you, Kathy. Since the first moment I, I met you, you have this phenomenal, beautiful, positive light about you. Thank you. And from, and from a nutritional scientist point, that it actually being in gratitude raises our dopamine level and our cortisol, which are feel good. Right, all those love hormones that yeah. are in there and want to come out and, and help us live right. more joy-filled. No, it is. Um, simply in the morning, I take my dog out for a long walk, and I just thank everything around me um, and just take time to be to mindful to that. And that's another mm -hmm. thing that you can do in terms of gratefulness is when you are out walking, sure. just to even feel. I like to, to uh, build up my senses. Mm -hmm. So I try to use all of them. I mean, taste when you're walking is a little difficult, sure. but you know, just the smells and the sights and what do you hear and... Oh, just beautiful. I have so many pictures that I will just stop and just take a picture of whatever. Yeah. Um, and wonderful. Yeah. I saw the post the other day you did of, uh, it was icy out, the temperature oh. was below 20 or, or whatever, and you just put this phenomenal picture that was just glorious, and uh, that's all about you, mm -hmm. just seeing that silver lining. or Well, because everybody moans know. and groans and sure. complains about the weather, which we have no control over, right. Right. but I, I did. I posted the picture, and I said the thing that I love the most of a snowstorm is that it's just so quiet and peaceful as the snow is falling. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, as I posted that, I thought, <laughs> and I'll be outside later, right. you know, shoveling, shoveling yeah. but it's okay. Yeah. You and me both. I'm healthy enough to shovel, so I'm grateful for that as well. <laughs> well <laughs> you're amazing so i want you to talk about forgiveness especially uh, something from hawaii that i yes. found very fascinating i'd love for you to share yes one of the other great things when you live for, with an open heart is yeah. to be able to forgive now i know that can be difficult because sometimes people and things really hurt you to the core and mm -hmm. you just can't let go sure and what that does is that hurts your heart sure it does. and it causes probably anger and sadness but there's a phenomenal Hawaiian forgiveness technique called ho ho pono pono. Uh -huh. And it's so simple, you don't even have to have the person or be in the situation to do the forgiveness and you just repeat four simple phrases. I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. And if you look this up online, you'll find out that there was a psychiatrist who was hired in a very secure 
prison in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And nobody wanted this job because the prisoners who were there were very, very violent. He sat in his office every day and just kind of gave this blessing to all of the prisoners who mm -hmm. were not, you know, they were all in their cells. They couldn't be socializing with anyone. And he would just sit there and think of all of them and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you, or thank you, I love you. And before you knew it, these prisoners were able to come out and inter, you know, be interactive with each other. And it's just an amazing, amazing. And once you do this right. towards the person or the situation, sure. then turn it on yourself. Uh -huh. And you will feel, I promise you, you will feel so much lighter, so much happier. That's a wonderful gift to give for Valentine's Day. Can you, can you pronounce it one more time? Ho o po no. H o apostrophe uh -huh. o p uh -huh. o n uh -huh. p o n o. Right. I think I spelled it right. And then there was one last component of the pillars of the heart. Yes, this is the one that I love the most. It's called um, loving kindness. Mm -hmm. And basically, it, it, it even goes back almost to the gratitude piece. That loving kindness is just treating others as if you would want to be treated. Right. Like holding the door open for someone. That's right. Or if you see someone struggling, ask them, especially like in the grocery store, you see these people who can't reach the top shelf. Right. What does it do to say, may I help you? Do you need help? Even right. if you just say, do you need some help? Right. And um, just, just being kind. That's the one thing I think is missing. But there's also another practice that you can do is you can, like if you meditate, you can sit quietly and think first to yourself, May I be healthy, may I be happy, may I be safe, and may I live with ease. And after you feel the peace in yourself, offer it the same thing to the world. Right. May they be happy, may they be healthy, may they be safe, may they live with ease. It's Wonderful. just That's... very basic things that really lighten your life and give you an uplift and makes you feel good and you're putting good out into the world. I'll say to people often, I'm sending you light and love and angels. Mm -hmm. And I know it's woo woo to some mm -hmm. people, but you know what? It's just an amazing thing right? because we need to put so much more positivity out in the world right sure. now with all the negativity that bombards us on a regular basis every single second of our lives. Yeah. No, I know. I, I, I work the uh, community centers, volunteer, and there's many that, um, that are just making me ends meet. And what amazes me is they have so little, but yet they have such a phenomenal heart. And you can see through their eyes and you can see through who they are that they're happy with whatever they have. And you shared that phenomenal quote from Oprah Winfrey. Can you share that again? Sure. How can you be grateful well, if you're not grateful for what you have, how can you be grateful for more? Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's the law of attraction. Sure. Everything, if you are, are grateful for, I mean, the beauty of these flowers that you have here, right. the fact that we're all wearing red right. for this beautiful day, right. it just all of those kinds of things. It doesn't, you don't have to be grateful for a, a massive amount of things, but when no. you start with small things mm -hmm. before you know it, it just multiplies. No, and it, it multiplies in your life and all around you. No, it does. And when I'm working with my patients and over the years, 21 years as a nutritionist, I found in helping with self-esteem mm. and getting them on board to work with their, their meal plans, um, being uh, taking time to be with their self and understanding what they mm -hmm. do have and, and try to find. I try to put a smile on five people's uh, faces per day in some way. Awesome. You know, awesome. I think it's the only way to be. It and is. And that's what I respect so highly and admire about you because you live your life. You walk the walk and talk the talk, but you live your life exactly the way you're learning to be this new trainer. And you went through an extensive training, didn't you, through Marcia Scheimer? Oh, I did. Yes, the last time I was on your show, I was saying how I was working towards becoming a happy for no reason trainer. Yes. And being happy for no reason does take a bit of... Uh, training, sure. Sure uh, awareness, right. and being mindful. And right. I do. I try to leave wherever I am. I try to leave the people I'm in contact with feeling a, even just a smidge better right. than they might have before I came in. Um, 
I help out in a preschool a couple days a week and I walk in and, and the people at the front desk as we come in are like, what song are you going to sing for us today? And I drive them nuts in the classroom <laughs> because I'm singing everything. But this morning I woke up and I mean, I called my mom and the first thing she did when she got on the phone was she sang, let me call you sweetheart. Oh my <laughs> I goodness. I was dying. That's her theme for today. Wow. So it, it comes from, it's How wonderful. somewhat embedded in me. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that with Broadway tunes. I'm go. always singing Broadway tunes uh, when I'm walking my dog. Perfect. That's that's uh, that's my situation. But as a uh, positivity um, health co uh, health coach or joyful living coach, you're going beyond just seeing people one on one. You're bringing this forward to corporations, to to very very large settings that are looking to to change their lives for the better because you're right in the present world we're in today we have to grab on to whatever we have and to make the very best of it and to be as positive as we can and try to make things better around us for everyone i believe in just being a great human every day absolutely just, uh, amen sister yeah, because that's absolutely. the way to be just we ha it just becomes something that as you become more from, uh, aware Mm -hmm. going out and and being happy mm -hmm. and and just like I said it doesn't take a lot a smile yeah a smile a smile always <laughs> helps even if I'm driving sure sometimes I'm in the in the car and I pass somebody and you smile and they smile back you know <laughs> it's just it's it's an easy thing to do no it is yeah. and and you certainly show it in every way possible well, thank Kathy. you and I'm happy that you brought up that yes I am getting out there I'm uh, I'm doing workshops I'm giving talks I will work one-on-one -on -one, I do lunch and learns I, and I'm also offering a an eight-week online course right. that will probably come next month um, so if any of your listeners are interested they can certainly reach out and Wonderful. I would love to help them on their journey to be more upbeat positive and happy and living from an open heart yeah uh, no, that's wonderful. Um, we're ready to uh, sum up in terms, uh, do you have anything last you want to share with my viewers? I have one last thing yeah. in the theme of Valentine's Day and in memory of my dear friend, Deborah Scheimer, who passed in June. Um, this was one of her favorite holidays and I would challenge everybody to try a 10 second kiss with their Valentine. And you lick, you, you, Lock your lips uh -huh. and silently count to 10. Sure. And it sounds easy, but it's not because a lot of times once we get to four, right. we're ready to pull back. Oh. And when you take those extra six seconds, I will tell you that 10 second kiss is awesome. Wow, I definitely have to try that tonight. <laughs> Please <laughs> Absolutely. do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, for being Linda, here, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Remember when you eat well and feel great, it's something you want to continue for the rest of your life. Remember, Moderation and balance are key. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you to my wonderful crew. Have a great night. Thank you.